Hey there. Happy Thursday. Yes, Thursday. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Mine was much better today than yesterday, so uh, I'm so relieved. And actually, I mean, yesterday really drained me and exhausted me so much that today I ended up laying down for a nap. And I think I must have slept for a good two hours or more. And I don't even remember really falling asleep. I mean, I like laid down and I think I was just out. <laughs> and I've been staying up late watching that dang Murdoch trial. Oh, but hopefully that's going to be over with soon. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure if you, all you have to do is just look up Murdoch and... I don't know how you spell it, but anyway, it's it's everywhere. <laughs> it's a big deal. And I've been watching it, so, um, but anyway, today, um, other than taking a nap, I ended up turning on the air conditioner today, and it was on almost the entire day. I, it was just so hot, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to turn this on. And I'm not going to be miserable all day long. Because that's one thing I, I tend to do is I'll suffer through the heat instead of just turning on the air. Because I just think, well, you know, I don't want to run up the electric bill and all of that. So I try to reserve it for really, really hot days. But today just seemed really hot to me. And I just said, okay, I'm going to turn on the air today and not worry about it. Because I haven't had it on in ages. So, it was really nice. <laughs> I have to admit, it was really, really nice having it on. I enjoyed it very much. Um, I think the cats enjoyed it, too. I think they... I, I could tell that they were just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Even they were napping. Um, little Poppy napped with me. It was so sweet. Oh, he was so adorable. I actually put up a little short video of him today nursing the blanket. So if you want to check that out, I mean, it's it's under a minute long. I think it's only like 30-something seconds or something. It's not long, but I put that up on the channel. I put it up on my ASMR channel, too, because it was very relaxing. Because he was just sitting there you know, nursing on the blanket and... It was so cute. <laughs> so, um, let's see what else happened today. Not a whole lot. Um, I did go out on my errands. And um, I picked up some more rooster food because I was out. And then, after I had already gone and gotten the rooster food, and I'd come home, and this was before I took my nap, um, I looked outside, and one of the hens was out there with one little baby. Just one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Because just this morning, I had a little tiny bit of that, um, baby rooster food that I've had left over from the ones that I had bought it for before but they outgrew it you know they got to a point where they needed the bigger you know size food so i still had that and and i had run out of the rooster food so when the roosters were out there this morning i just dumped all that out there because i was thinking well i mean they'll eat it you know it's not what they're usually eating because they're grown roosters and stuff but i wanted to give them something so i had just dumped that out and then it was after that that I saw this hen out there with that little tiny baby. And I was like, oh, no. So after I got up from my nap and I saw that that little baby was out there, I was like, oh, God, I guess I better go up there and hope that the guy's still open. <laughs> Luckily, he was. He was still open, and I was able to get a bag of the baby food again because <laughs> I just thought, that poor little thing. I mean, I was throwing out the, the rooster food I had bought for the big ones, and that little baby was looking around, and there wasn't nothing to eat. And I was like, oh, I just can't do that. <laughs> i got to go get him some food or her, or whichever. i got to get that baby some food. So, at least now I've got it. <laughs> but 
But that was just so weird to look out and just see this, this hen out there with this one little baby. And it was really cute. It had such pretty markings along its back and everything. I was just like, oh my gosh. It was adorable. So, hang on, there's a loud truck going by. Um, but anyway, I, I did my cleaning like I always do. And today I decided I was going to, um, I don't know why I was in the mood for this. Because it's been a long time. Hang on, I'm going to grab it and I'll show you what it is. Okay, um, I'm trying not to shake this thing around. Anyway, these are very popular here in Thailand. You can kind of see it. You know, it's like, it's like ramen noodles. Well, they eat tons of these here. I mean, these are everywhere. And this is the only one that I really like. And I haven't had it in a long time, but for some reason I was kind of in the mood for it today. And it's actually supposed to be like a shrimp flavor or something like that. And they put these little itty bitty like shrimp <laughs> things in there that aren't very good. Usually when I eat it, I just, I don't eat that part because it's just kind of, kind of has this rubbery texture and it's just not tasty at all. But I decided that I was going to try making this with some chicken so I got me some chicken strips and I cut them up into little you know like bite-sized pieces and I just boiled it in some water and you know cooked it that way and then added it to this <clears throat> excuse me and it actually was pretty good so I was like you know I think I'll just try doing that from now on because I mean the shrimp stuff they put in there even if it was good there's only like you know, four or five little itty bitty pieces in there, so it's nothing. But I figured, you know, I used to like this is called um, tom yum creamy, and this is typically done with shrimp. But I used to get a long time ago when I would go to actual places that cooked food, I would get tom yum guy, which is the chicken guy is chicken. I'm probably not saying that exactly right because I don't I don't pronounce Thai words really the right way so um, but anyway I figured why not just go ahead and just make some chicken up put in there and so I made up enough chicken to have another one um, I was thinking I would have it for dinner but like I was talking about in another video yesterday or whenever it was a lot of times I don't always want to eat the same thing later in the day. So, like, if I'm making a meal and I make enough for, like, two servings, sometimes I'll save it for the next day and have it for lunch or something. So, that's what I decided to do. I just saved the rest of that chicken that I didn't put in with my noodles this morning or, you know, for lunch. And so, I'm going to probably have that for lunch tomorrow, but it was good. And so, now at least I know that in the future, if I get in the mood for these things, if I just get me a little bit of chicken and cook it up, it'll be a little more hearty. Because, I mean, the noodles itself are pretty filling, but it's nice to have a little bit of meat in there. Because, yeah, I'm a meat eater, so I enjoy having meat in my food, you know, or with my food, whatever. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, interesting, I was going to talk about this, I don't know if you can hear that, I almost can't hear it, I think that's like cicadas out there, and I was going to talk about this because my entire life, I've had this high-pitched frequency sound in my head, which is... I guess, I mean, from things that I've seen and heard, I think it might be tinnitus. I'm not sure. Most of the time, I cannot hear cicadas because the sound in my head, it took me a long time to really realize it. And it, and it was one day when I was hearing cicadas outside and I, I realized I was hearing them outside of my head. And I was like, oh my God, that's the sound 
that I have in my head that I've had my whole life that's always there. I mean, always. It never goes away. And so I'm hearing that now. It's like I'm surprised to actually hear it. And I don't know if that's actually the cicadas that I'm hearing, but it, it sounds similar to it. Um, and I had recently, I was scrolling through YouTube videos, you know, just looking for something to watch. And I actually saw something that was talking about how to stop tinnitus and, and to get rid of that sound in your head. I don't want to. <laughs> that may sound crazy, but this has been a part of me my entire life. And I cannot imagine my life without that sound in my head. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I know I always clear my throat on here. and I'm sorry. But to me, it's like, I just can't, I don't think I would be very happy if this sound were gone. That may not make any sense to people. And I don't know if anybody else that might see this has tinnitus or, you know, has that high pitched frequency sound in their head. And maybe it drives some people crazy, but for me, I actually like it. <laughs> I don't know why I like it, but maybe it's just because it's always been there and I just can't, you know, really imagine it not being there. But I don't know, there's something kind of comforting about it to me and soothing. But it's also in conflict with crickets. And I've talked about this before, but it's been a long time, so I'm going to talk about it again. That like when, like I don't mind hearing crickets, you know, when it's a whole bunch of them. Like like right now, if that's cicadas that I'm hearing, um, it's it's a nice sound because you can hear a lot of them, and it's like a whole bunch of, you know, there's there's a lot going on there. It's that one cricket, that lone cricket that just makes that constant sound, and it's just the one by itself that literally is maddening to me and I cannot stand it. I mean, I really cannot. I, I feel like I'm going to lose my mind when I'm hearing that sound. And there was one time when I realized that I think one of the reasons why I can't stand that sound is the pitch or the tone of it doesn't go well with the sound in my head. It's like it's off key or something if that makes sense so i can't stand that one lone cricket or all the scooter noise gosh it's like really loud all of a sudden but yeah i mean if i you know i can listen to lots and lots of crickets you know that sound of the crickets all you know tons of them making the noise or whatever that's not a problem for me at all but that one lone cricket is what really gets to me. And I really do think that it's probably because it just completely clashes with the tone in my head. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I like having that sound in my head for some reason. And I know that's probably just really weird to people. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably a lot of people would be like, oh my God, I've got tinnitus and I can't stand it. It drives me crazy. But I don't know. You know, I'm just cur I'm curious to know if anybody watching this has it. And what does it sound like to you? I mean, do, do you, you know, does it sound different for different people? Because I'm curious about that. I mean, I really am. I'm curious to know, you know, what what does it sound like to you? Because... For most of my life, I mean, it's literally been since I moved into this house within the last like year and a half that it finally clicked in my head that, oh my gosh, this sounds like cicadas. Um, because, I mean, it's, it's literally like this, at the same pitch, the same tone or something because most of the time I don't hear the cicadas because it all sounds exactly the same to me. So, which I know I said that maybe, but I'm just, 
I want to reiterate it because it just is so fascinating to me. I find it fascinating. I find it very interesting. And I'm very interested to know if anybody else has tinnitus because I'm assuming that's what this is. I have no idea for certain. I mean, I've never talked to a doctor about it or anything because for many years, I never knew that this was anything odd <laughs> because it's always been there. But then, um, I don't know, there was something that made, that made me start asking myself, well, what? why do I hear this high-pitched sound in my head? You know, I, I, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those things where it's like you just don't think about it because it's such a normal part of your everyday experience that it just it seems normal. And then something sparked me to question, you know, oh, yeah, maybe that's not normal. So, I don't know, but I'm, I am curious to know if anybody else has tinnitus, and if you do, what does it sound like to you? You know, does it sound, you know, is it, it, is it a high-pitched sound? frequency sound is it more of a, a lower tone or what does it sound like you know because it's one of those things where I, I guess it could be an individual thing and that maybe it's going to be different for each person maybe I don't know but I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on it and if you don't have tinnitus you know what would you think if you did you know can you imagine like if you know what cicadas sound like can you imagine what it would be like to hear that sound 24 hours a day your entire life because <laughs> I don't know I just I like it I do I like it and I just I wouldn't want to get rid of it I mean when I saw that thumbnail one day that was talking about you know how to get rid of tinnitus make that sound go away or whatever the title was I was just like no <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. I don't want to get rid of that. I love it. <laughs> I know. I may, I may be a little bit of an oddball, but I don't know. I like that. I mean, you know, that's like uh, maybe for people who love the sound of, you know, crickets. If it sounds like crickets in your head, you know, you might find that comforting. You may say, you know, I wouldn't mind hearing that sound all the time in my head because I find it calming, relaxing, comforting in some way. I don't know. But yeah, it's just something I was thinking about. And I don't know. I just, this that I'm hearing out here, I don't know if that's actually cicadas. That might be something else. But I like that sound. Whatever this is that I'm hearing out there right now, and I don't know if y'all can hear it. Because it's very, very close to what I hear in my head. But if you're able to hear that sound, which I, I hope you can, do you know what that is? Because I don't know if that's actually cicadas. Because I know, you know, when I've heard the cicadas, I usually can tell. And I'm not 100% sure that that is. But whatever that sound is, it reminds me of when I was a kid... During the summer months, I remember hearing that sound at night, and I used to love to hear that. I would love to hear that sound, and I, and I always thought about, you know, camping. Like, sometimes my sister and I would camp out in the backyard, you know, we would just like, you know, camp out overnight in the backyard, and you would hear that sound, and... It just kind of stopped a little bit. There's still some going on, but a lot of it just kind of, it was, it's weird how it's like, it'll be all going at the same time, and then it'll just kind of stop all at the same time. I don't know. I find that fascinating. But yeah, I mean, it's like when I used to go camping and stuff, you know, when I was a kid, um, I didn't go very often, but the times that I went, you hear that, that sound, you know, those night sounds. And I don't know, I just, I love that. I just think that's really, really cool. I like it a lot. So, I don't know. It's just something I'm thinking about. <laughs> One of those random things. Hey, there's Poppy. Oh, He is so adorable, y'all. Oh, my God. He is so precious. He makes me so happy. When he's not being a little tyrant monster. I mean, he can just be. I, I've had some really 
fast cats in my lifetime because I've had a lot of cats. This kid, man, he is just unreal the speed that this cat has. And when he gets going with the zooms, it's scary. You gotta like <laughs> you gotta like watch and, and be prepared because he will literally come from nowhere. I mean, it's almost like he just appears out of thin air and will just like fly up onto you or bounce off of you. Like he'll use you as like a springboard or something. And that's how come I end up with a lot of scratches because he's just like, shong. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, he is crazy. But he is so precious. I just love him so much. And it was so sweet when he took that nap with me today. And he was like laying up against me. But, you know, kind of, he wasn't like totally up against me. But he was laying there and he was nursing on that blanket and stuff again. And I just was like, this is so sweet. I just love it. But anyway, I've gone on for over 21 minutes. So I guess I'm going to shut up now and figure out exactly what I'm going to do. I still haven't gotten my nails done, but I'm thinking I may start working on my nails here because I just, ugh, I, I don't know how Mary of Everyday Mary and Southern ASMR sounds, I don't know how she can do her nails as often as she does. I mean, it's like every time you turn around, she's like, oh, I painted my nails a different color and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't know how you can do it. I hate it. God, I swear I hate painting my nails. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> I love them to be painted, but I cannot stand doing it. <sighs> and Which is why I haven't done it in a while. But I'm going to try to do it so that hopefully I can maybe get an ASMR video done. Because I don't know if there's going to be in that trial stuff going on tonight or not. They had their closing arguments yesterday. And so now the jury is out to, you know, make a determination on whether Alec Murdoch is <laughs> guilty or not guilty or not. Oh, guilty or not guilty or not? <laughs> ah, okay. Um, so, I don't know. They, they could come back tonight with an answer or something, but I kind of doubt it. So, if all goes well, maybe I'll finally get my video made over there. And I did actually buy something. To... I, I've been looking for the big ones. First time I ever saw one was on Mary's channel. Because somebody had told her about them and she ended up buying one. And it was a big one. And I would love to find one of those, but I can't find one. It's this little thing. Ooh! Well, there went the head. <laughs> it just popped off. It's over there blinking on the floor. But these are really nice. They make a really nice sound, but this one's not as good. The one she had was great because since it was a nice big one, it made fabulous sounds. Oh, man. But I can't find the big ones. And they had this up at 7-Eleven. Uh, now it's all headless. <laughs> I'm sure I can put it back on there. It looks like it just pops on. But, um, but I want, want to use this in a video. This, along with my other little sensory toys that I've gotten. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that tonight or not, but I just think these are really cool. But I'd love to find a bigger one than this. But anyway, I'm going to do that, I guess, maybe, if I'm lucky and... If it stays quiet. See now all those sounds that I was hearing are gone. Totally stopped. It's so crazy how that happens. How they'll all be doing it. There's like tons of them somewhere. Making that sound. And they all stop at the exact same moment. It's weird. Isn't that crazy? Anyway. Alright. I've gone on for almost 25 minutes now. So I hope that you all have a great day. And I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. So have a good one, everybody. And I will see you later.